Hey everybody, it's Brooke. <laughs> Today's Tuesday. Tuesday. How y'all doing? The moon is still in Leo. So there's been a lot happening. Um, with my progress chart, my moon is has now progressed into Leo and Leo has now moved into the first house. So I really connect and channel well with the Leo energy. My son has now progressed into my Midhaven. So Midhaven. So there's a lot of things happening <laughs> with me especially right now. Lots of downloads, lots of downloads. But my guides have really been pushing me to get out here and do another twin flame reading. Um, I feel really nervous right now, and I'm not real sure why I feel nervous. Like, I feel anticipation building up. Um, it's a nervous energy. It's a nervous energy. Very anxious. So I got my Sacred Travelers cards. And I want to pull some of those. And then let's pull uh, some animal spirits. Yesterday, after I did the reading for the Twin Flames. Um, I had some birds right there. Oh, vast vistas, finding sanctuary, voyage of the heart. So, <laughs> and in voyage of the heart, there's a ship that has two flagpoles. <laughs> it looks like 77. Oh, so expand your horizons. This reminds me of the Fool card because he really looks like the Fool. The Fool card in the tarot deck um, a lot of times is jumping off the, um, the ledge towards the past. But in this one, expand your horizons, he is looking towards the future. So really, looking, looking towards that sanctuary, that opening your spiritual source, that 5D, really merging that 5D and 3D. Because then the last one is Voyage of the Heart. So really being able to connect those and staying in your heart space love throws flows through you and to you and it really reminds me of the card yesterday of the woman three through three on my clock of the woman holding um the world in her hands this woman has a lot of water and fish so Holding the earth in the hands yesterday, that was, you know, the, the earth energy. This is the water. So really flowing with the water, flowing with love. And the two fish reminds me of fire and water. Really being able to connect the passions with the heart. Being able to connect mind, body, soul. And the Finding Sanctuary cards looks like a lighthouse, but it almost reminds me of the tower that Rapunzel was in. And she had golden hair. 
let's pull some. It really reminds me of a dream. Expand your dreams and allow that expansion of the dreams to flow through you with love and nourishment and nurturing. Love it. All right, so I get Grasshopper Spirit. Take a leap of faith. Um, this really connects to the message yesterday. Really embracing, embodying faith that everything is always working out for me. And this is a three card. The Grasshopper has a king's hat on his head. And I was just talking about the queen's. The, the queen of the earth, holding that earth, the queen of water, embodying the emotions. And then I get badger spirit, be fearless and bold. And this is a four card, so things are progressing in order. Um, this reminds me of the sun card in the tarot deck because of all the sunflowers in the background. And what's interesting is the um, Indian headband that's on top of the badger. So really tapping into those ancestors, tapping into the energy of those ancestors. It's got turquoise there too. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And then I get the butterfly spirit, and it's an 11 card. And the butterfly also has a crown on it. Transformation is beautiful. Really just allow this transformation process to happen. being open to the spiritual transformation that's happening. Really just keeping love in your heart, no matter what, non-attachment. There's a lot of queen and king energy showing up. Let's see, one more. Star Brothers, Double Mission, and then the Golden Children. All right, so the Star Brothers, this is Horus Energy, Protection, Loyalty, Safety, and Trust. And <laughs> I love that this is piggybacking on the reading yesterday, because look at the two birds. They almost make a heart shape. Actually, there's three now that I look at it. Because there's a bird right behind him. Really just knowing that you're protected. Trusting that you're protected. As you can see there, three. And then I get double mission, light worker star seed, save the world by being you. We're really being encouraged to stand fully in our, in our true authentic self. Like who are you? 
Who are you when that mask comes off? Who are you at the core of your being? Because this is important, the changes that are coming, and, and I've been getting the message a lot about the children, and this is the golden children, inner child, tenderness, innerness, innocence, and rare gifts. The children that are coming in right now, coming in from the, the different realms, the, the children that are coming through the porter, portal and being born right now, those are the children that really, really, really need us to be stepping into our true authentic selves. We are here to be the guides. We are here to mentor them through. I feel like I need to pull one more. And all the children have their backs to me, but they're facing, or this looks like possibly the parents, the parents that are going, the twin planes that are gonna be bringing these children in, are waiting on them to come through the portal. Because some of you are meant to bring these golden children in. Some of you are meant to be aunts, uncles. Some of you are meant to be grandparents. So really, knowing when they're coming, being able to see when they're coming and being prepared for when they show up. Give me one more. Bearing fruit, yes. So to me, that's very similar to um, planting the seed, right? The seed um, that germinates and grows um, until it bears its fruit that's now ready to be harvested. That's also a three card. Well, it's 12, it breaks down to three. So I get three, I've got 33, 24, <laughs> which is a six card. And it's got... <laughs> Two birds again with the heart. Um, there's an apple at the bottom. Flower petals. And what's interesting is the hummingbirds have a red string that's now tied in a heart. And then I get body and soul. This leaf also looks like a heart. Tapping into that higher heart chakra. We have a dragonfly. This is a five card. As these golden children are coming in, we're helping to connect the body and the soul with them. And we do this by doing it for ourselves. Mind, body, spirit, the Trinity. So I'm seeing the butterfly a lot. A lot of you are being born out of the cocoon. Phoenix rising from the ashes. And I'm noticing
this is a male and and female to me a male and female energy and their eyes are closed so really just opening your third eye to in this mission is definitely around the children Tapping into the birds to be able to see the bigger picture. Using the energy of Leo to give you the courage to stand up. Fifteen fifty-five. I love you guys. <laughs> Do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, share, and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye.